Hey, here with uh, Craig Motcher. Man, I'm not going to give you an introduction. <laughs> do you want to do it one more? Take one. No, we're, are we one. This is take one. Yeah, yeah. No, we started. Take one. Yeah, this is and one only take. Um, Craig, how exciting is this? Yeah, it's really cool. Um, it's been the culmination of a lot of work. I mean, the whole crew, the on crew behind the scenes and, and AV as well, obviously, have put in a lot of work to, to rejuvenate the Zadapec and bring the on track fest. Um, meet down to Melbourne. Um, we obviously head off on, on Saturday night. We're looking for a massive crowd and we'll have a lot of fun. I mean, from speaking from my team's point of view, we're, we're excited. Um, we're looking forward to coming and putting on a good show and really enjoying the experience and, and um, getting our Australian summer underway. Yeah, I mean, you've got an interesting group with this OAC because obviously it's, it's very young, but it's also very experienced. You've got multiple Olympians <laughs> yeah. in and amongst here. Is it a really refreshing feeling for you for someone who was in the sport for such a long period of time now to be able to coach a group like this and sort of give back to this youth that's really starting to push forward? Absolutely. I mean, what we're doing with the OAC down in Australia is, is unique to our region. Obviously, we've seen a lot of success with Dathan's crew in the US and Thomas in Europe. Obviously, the last 12 months over there has done a lot of great things. So for us, um, bringing a, a young team together um, is fantastic. But in my opinion, and what we've done is really make sure we have a couple of key leaders in that group as well. So to show the younger guys what the, you know, what the routine and the rhythm and what it's like to be an elite athlete, I can... I did that myself individually as an athlete, but sometimes as the coach, it, you need to have some other athletes in there to share that experience as well. And I think we've brought a really good team together and uh, they're loving it. They're doing great things and we're excited to watch them race. Yeah. Is it hard to take your athlete hat off and put your coach hat on? Like, how did that transition work for you? Because you were a pretty hard-nosed athlete. Do you take the same approach to coaching or do you... It's now a little bit softer now. It's now a little bit more like helping people through. Do you adopt that or...? I think there's a bit of both. I mean, you can't just rely on your experience as an athlete when you transition into coaching. And, and I've been coaching for a number of years. We've, we've been operating in the school system for 12 years yeah. and, and had a lot of success with, with that sort of middle school, high school age bracket, 12 to 18-year-olds, and, and dabbled in the high performance space with a few athletes along the way. But... Um, I think this generation of athletes, generally speaking, across the board are different to what athletes were like when I was running. So you, you, you can't be one size fits all for everybody. And, and I always get asked about my philosophy on coaching and everything else. In, in, in short, it's about relationships. It's about athlete management and about making sure that you build trust with the people you're working with and ultimately make sure the team is, is healthy, fit, having a good time. And we, we're enjoying it and believing and confident in each other. And, and we've built that. Now, I know when I was talking to some of the on crew, when you guys pitch to athletes or athletes come to you, it's all about how they fit in and amongst the group. What yep. is it, what qualities, what sort of um, personality do you look for that you think are going to gel with this group you've got? Yeah, it's a great question uh, because in, in a 20 or 30 minute phone call, it's impossible to determine that. Um, it's a gut feeling really, but it, in, in essence, we're looking for, for good quality people that have a lot of upside and talent um, over the coming years. We're not looking for ready-made athletes at this stage. I mean, we have a couple that are obviously superstars already in our sport, but we're looking for athletes that bring something to the group so personality is great they're, they're engaging people they have a lot of fun and they can also participate in middle distance at a very high level and, and that's something that is really hard to determine over a zoom call yeah. but um, you know we've been really lucky well, not lucky but we've done a lot of due diligence and there's a process that we take there's a series of questions that I like to ask and and just see what responses we get but at, at the end of the day we've we've also turned away a couple of athletes that are potentially world class as well because I didn't feel that they, they were going to fit with the group or they weren't going to add value to what we were doing and that's what this is about it, it, it the, the idea behind this group or my view with this group is obviously to be world class and be competitive um, at the highest level but it's got to outlive me and it's got to outlive this group of athletes we have to build something that is sustainable um, beyond our time in the sport and that's what we're doing yeah I mean I, I won't beat around the bush it's a big year this Olympic yep. cycle it's always something that athletes think about well beyond right now but clearly you've just signed four new athletes you've got the NILs over in America all this sort of exciting stuff is it a, a fun experience for you now to try and usher this group through I mean you've been to four Olympics yourself you know what it's all about but what's uh what's the feeling amongst the group heading into a big year Excitement. I mean, we've just had three weeks at Falls Creek. We're still doing the grinding work. We're not getting ready for any particular race before Christmas, albeit Zadapec is a lot of fun. It's very early on in the season. Um, but I think the, the feeling within the group is just genuine excitement and see what we can do. And, and we launched in February this year, early 2023. So this is, in, in essence, our first Australian summer, our first season, full season, together as a team and, and as a full roster. Um, and I, I genuinely feel a lot of excitement as do the athletes to see what we can do like we've we've all put various degrees of work in some have been with me for three months some have been with me for six to twelve months uh, and the, the the sort of fruit of that labor will come out hopefully 
um, the latter part of this season into the European summer and, and ultimately Paris. If we get one or two in the team, that would be amazing. But for us, it's a long-term vision. It's about LA in 2028 and then Brisbane 2032. So... If we can get some great results this summer, and we will, that'll be a really huge step for us, and we're excited to see that happen. Now, personal question. You guys aren't in need for a washed-up 28-year-old um, with bad Achilles. You know, how, how can I sort of get myself into the fold? You need a pacemaker, do you need anything? I just want to get involved, really. Mitch, you are involved. You're, you're interviewing me. The, the only reason you're doing this is because I said, go and speak to Mitch. So I'm bringing <laughs> everyone in and just helping those. Lockie's standing behind the camera here. Yeah, yeah. He's involved because of, you know, the work that we've put in to get him here. Um, so, mate, you're already here. Yeah. We need we need the media side of it and the commentary and the enthusiasm. No, look, um, love to have you coming down and leading a few <laughs> a few reps. We had a, we had the on tech rep in Albury like a couple of weeks ago lead a few reps for uh, for Bendiri and Claudia. So, all hands on deck, mate. We need all the help we can get. We love it. We want to bring our sport back to the people. And, and I think you'll see that at Zadipek on Saturday night. Everybody wants a piece of you here, Craig. Thanks so much all for taking good. the time to talk to us. Good luck at the dentist, mate. And done. Um,